Two local kids tragically lost their parents just months apart. Lily and Gavin Vinyl lost their mom, Michelle, last month, lost their dad, Jake, the month before. So tonight, the Atlantic Beach community came together at ABBQ, where their mom used to work, to raise money for the siblings and celebrate Michelle's life. Action News Jackson at Gutierrez is live there now, and Annette, the fundraiser is just wrapping up. Yes, they are wrapping up now. We actually have some volunteers who are still lingering around. They actually helped with the event, and you can see some of the raffle prizes that were off to the side. But I actually, I just spoke with the owner, and he said more than 250 people came out tonight, and they raised more than $15,000, and all of those funds are going towards the kids. Hundreds of people showed up to Michelle Vinyl's celebration of life at ABBQ. Everyone said the same thing. Big smile, very organized, was fantastic. Um, just a great person. A uh, great person. She made everyone happier when she dealt with them. An event created to help support her kids, Lily and Gavin Vinyl. The siblings have experienced an unimaginable tragedy, losing both parents. I mean, it's two, two kids that are kind of fending for themselves at this point. You've got a 16-year-old girl who's one of the most mature children I've ever met in my life and a 10-year-old boy. They're great kids. Um, I get obviously emotional as I'm talking about them. 41-year-old Michelle Vinyl passed away on December 10th, just a month after her husband, Jake Vinyl, died. It was just shock. I mean, uh, we were kind of prepared for her husband, who passed away in November. Um, he had health issues kind of leading up to it. We knew that was coming, but December was just a complete shock. I got a call on Sunday morning um, uh, from her son is actually the one that found her. ABBQ owner Rick Moyer says Michelle has worked at this restaurant as a catering manager for almost as long as it's been in business, nearly four years. She treated people the way they should be treated and uh, it's not common. She was really nice like and like she worked really hard. The funds raised from the food and drink sales at the restaurant will go towards the kids trust fund. Other local businesses even raffled off their services from artwork and photo shoots to gift baskets to help support the cause. Caitlin Texita used to teach Gavin at Shets Creek Elementary School and wanted to help in any way she could. Gavin's a really special child and so is his sister Lily. They're sweet, sweet kids and they've had lots of trauma and I think the more people here to support them, the better. Now the kids are currently living with their grandmother at their home on Atlantic Beach. But if you want to support them, you can actually find the information online at actionnewsjacks.com. The GoFundMe and any extra links will be there. For local coverage, you can count on reporting live in Atlantic Beach. Annette Gutierrez, Action News Jacks.